Hi guys, this is Nick here from Nick's Whip Shop, and today I'm going to show you how to make a nylon fall for your bull whip. First thing you're going to need to do is gut some paracord. And the length that you want is going to be twice the length of your fall. So if you want a 12, uh, if you want a 15 inch fall, you're going to need 30 inches of paracord. You're going to take the paracord and get your length that you like. These are one strand doubled up, so this is how long my fall will be. Right here. And we're going to cut the end off. Alright, so this is my fall. We're going to gut this paracord, just pull the insides out just like that. Now you're going to take your lacing needle. called a permalock needle as well. It has threads inside. If you don't already have one, you can pick one for $4 on eBay or Amazon. Now we're going to take one of the ends of our paracord and make a slanted cut in it. Like that. It's a little sloppy, but what you're going to do is singe the end. If, you, if you've done lacing before with parachute cord or leather, for that matter, you can guess what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of making this a little bit sharp more pointy so I can actually thread it inside my uh, permalock needle, my lacing needle, right? So thread it in, you don't have to you know, go for too long, just so, just so there's some tension there so it's not like you're going to pull it out while you're inside to get a, either uh, end of it. This is the important part, you're going to take your parachute cord that's been gutted and you're going to double it like this, see that, in half. Now you're going to want to take the very center, which is here, and hold it. Take the needle, and you're actually going to thread the paracord inside of itself. It can be a little tricky at times to get it in there, but there we go. See that? Going right inside there. Pulled it. Once it's through, You're just going to keep threading it in. As you can see, what I've done here is I'm threading the parachute cord inside of itself. Now, different paracords, different companies, some paracord will be um, looser, or more loose, or tighter than others. So you may work out that you're just sliding it through with no problem. Or this uh, specific um, I get it in thousand foot spools, but this is actually a bit tighter, no problem though. Just go a little slower than you normally would, if you have to. Just working your way along, a little slow. So I'm just taking this, pushing it, pulling it. And you're just slowly working our way through. Almost, got a couple inches left here. And you can see the loop forming. That's what's going to go around the end of your uh, end of the whip. And now we've broken through. So we're going to pull that so it's starting to come out. And then we're going to take this and pinch and slide. That way we get a nice even arrangement. So as you can see, it's starting to close up a little bit. We want a little bit, a little bit more. I'm sliding down again. Just adjusting the length that I like it. And that is about perfect. That's the way I like it for my whips. You have the little eye there at the end. See that? Now you're going to take this. I'm just going to cut there. And don't cut one of them. Cut both. So you want to cut about here. Make sure you have a nice sharp knife. And then you're going to singe the end. And in doing this, you're not just singeing the outer layer. You're singeing... The one inside, you're kind of melting the two layers together. That way, when you go to adjust it by pulling this out, which we'll do as soon as it dries, you won't, you know, they won't separate. They'll stay together. So, you would have a nice even fall. 
And the fall, once you have para paracord uh, threaded inside of itself, it's a lot stiffer. A little heavier, you get a louder crack out of your whip, more mass. Alright. So now, all you do is you just pull this out. If you want to open it up, say you're done plating your whip. And all you do, this uh, this will be our whip. <laughs> And then you just pull it closed. I can't really do that with one hand. So this is this is how it's done. Pull it open, fit it around the whip, and then to close it, you just start here and just do the whole pinch thing again. Pinch to close, it'll slide closed. And that is how you make a nylon paracord fall for your whips. Any length you want. Thanks for watching, hope that helped you guys.